are human women prettier than the Anunnaki alien race women? Now, I asked that because back then, Ayana stroke Ishtar stroke Aphrodite was the prettiest of them all, and that was an Anunnaki. So, was she prettier than thou prettiest women that we've got now? I don't know, but if we look back at old paintings of women, and when I say women, I'm not on about ones that may have transitioned. Uh, I doubt if they did back then, but hey, I can't be judged. Um, so, yeah, are our women getting prettier now? I mean, here's a painting of a woman from 1876. What's your thoughts? Do you think our women are prettier than the Anunnaki's? Would they come down? Would they let their sons of God, Elohim, come down and steal our women now? I don't know. You tell me. Are human men better looking than the Anunnaki alien race that created us humans? So here's just some images of some human men. And now here is the Anunnaki himself. 8 to 12 foot tall. So yes, that is a full size goat. And they're very muscular. And here's another image there of an Anunnaki. And here is another one. And yes, that is a full size lion because of the size they are. They did always end up having long hair and a beard, which was a stature for them as manhood. The Ajiji that were the younger ones didn't have beards until they got to a certain age. And here's another carving. So are the Anunnaki Maus better looking than us humans that they ended up creating in their image? I'll let you guys decide because I did one on the women and I kept getting told that the women wear makeup compared to the Anunnaki, which they, the Anunnaki women did wear makeup. The proof you need for mermaids. Now, the Anunnaki actually admitted that they created mermaids and this is a cylinder seal that dates back to the Sumerian times, the oldest known advanced civilization. And as you see here, half man, half fish. Now, the Anunnaki also did cylinder seals with cyclopses, centaurs, basically all the creatures that they genetically modified. And Enki, the prince that created these, because he was the technical person, actually called us, the humans, his favourite creation out of them all. So, would another area like India also have hybrids? I'll have a look here. There's a half snake, half lady. Is it coincidence that um, this character here is 8 to 12 foot tall and this would have been about 5 foot tall? Uh, as you see, the height difference. And that's because they were Anunnaki. I've been sent a link to this gentleman's video and the person that sent it said, take him out. I'm guessing he means make him look silly. Now, I've done videos on giants before, so I'm not going to um, go go over that obviously if this guy doesn't understand anything about the smithsonian uh, destroying the skeletons in a legal court case uh, he'll probably say that's not a, a genuine document that shows that it was a legal court case and someone's knocked it up for, for a giggle but anyway so the point where i'm, I'm sort of just going to educate the person is he's talking here about this giant and have a listen of this argument is there's a lack of proof, but the lack of proof doesn't mean that it's not possible. Let's examine this for a minute. Now, if giants were real, they would have to be a different race, and I'll explain why. They couldn't be Homo sapiens because we have so much variation in Homo, homo sapiens that you just can't say that somebody who's tall is a giant. They're not a different race, they're just tall. Okay, so the legal definition of someone who's a giant is seven feet. So straight away, unfortunately, there's basketball players that are well over seven feet. So you, you've got to be careful what you say because obviously someone like me will just come along and point out that is a giant if you're over seven foot legally. Now, you could argue, well, hang on a minute. What about dwarfs? Are they a different race? No, that's because in your psyche, you're thinking of Dungeons and Dragons when really people can be little people and giant people. Oh. For example, the shortest person alive today is 61 centimetres tall, while the tallest person alive today is 251 centimetres today. That's a difference of 1.9 metres, essentially. So nobody's out here saying that those two people are different races. So we have a wide variety of heights in within our species, is what I'm saying. So why can't it be a giant, then? Do you see what I'm saying? So you've, you've just said that people can be very tall, but this can't be a homo sapien. Why not? The giant definition is 
over seven foot tall. So that's what we call giants. So yeah, all that's all I'm going to say. Just you guys can figure out the rest. Breaking news about ancient Egypt. So 52 foot long book of the dead papyrus from ancient Egypt was discovered at Saqqara. If you don't know what the book of the dead is, go back and watch my videos. I did a 10 part video explaining who and what connection they had to the Anunnaki, the book. But it's quite frustrating here because it's basically saying here, <coughs> the document was found within a coffin in a tomb south of the pyramid. Now straight away people think pyramid, tomb, there you go. But pyramids were not tombs. So if you carry on reading, you'll realise that it was um, near the pyramid, the step pyramid that we were talking about. But it starts here. The step pyramid was... So they've got no reason to talk about the pyramid other than to make us believe the pyramid was a tomb when it was actually... Uh, the area around the step pyramid was used for burials. So again, trying to really make that pyramid tomb connection when there is none. Thank you for watching. Yeah, you can tell I'm getting wound up with this. Uh, the book called The Myths of Mesopotamia was translations of ancient Sumerian texts. And in it, there's a footnote that says the seven great Anunnaki, those from space, not heaven, that came to earth, uh, made the Ajiji, which were teenagers. So it's like you and someone else making a baby. Now, the word Elohim in the Hebrew, basically they changed the word to gods, or it should be gods, plural, go back to the Old Testament. Now, this is what winds me up. Ajiji are mythological figures, yeah? So that's mythological. However, when this, and this is now in Genesis, when the sons of God, Elohim, in other words, the Ajiji, came unto the daughters of men. So that's fine, because it's in Genesis. But... The thousands of tablets that talk about the Ajiji in Samaria are myths. What the hell? So religious people, start thinking outside the box. Stop looking at that because that's where it's come from. These ancient texts unwound up. Just giving a shout out to my own website, outruhistory.co.uk. I cover aliens, spirits, Bigfoots, all sorts of things, uh, even dinosaurs. And you can watch it at outrohistory.co.uk or links podcasts and videos etc and i thought i'd just mention that i do have a patreon page that has different videos on there um you've got images there you can download uh ai ones you can use for your own podcasts etc live chat recordings that i've done uh chats with guests etc and it's always being updated so feel free to um visit both patreon page which is our true history at Patreon or on Patreon and my website which is outrohistory.co.uk. Thanks.